What's in the dragon's feeding ground? Spiders. Always spiders. Okay, Alphonse needs to move. Because reasons. Start out with that. What happened to Alphonse's draw? I feel like Alphonse used to draw lots of cards, and now Alphonse draws, like, no cards. It's really bumming me out. Okay, do we have any way to... Yeah, we didn't have a, we didn't have a lot of options there. I was looking for like some crit or something like that. Save zeal for later. Somehow I still moved in in with Alphonse, I guess. Um <laughs> Uh, there's very few places on the floor that, that are safe at the moment. Could have technically used Assassinate there. That was just all of the floor awfulness there. Okay, Alphonse, is, we've been sitting on this level up for a bit. Oh, and it was it was the AP level up. Ugh. But all of a sudden, like, why is our hand size so small in Alphonse all of a sudden? Something, something went wrong. Oh, this guy's shooting people. Yep, shooting people who who move. I got it. It could be the amulet. I guess it's it's worth checking, isn't it? Uh, I didn't think the amulet that he had on had card draw on it, though. And I thought what we added had card draw. I kind of wish that these boxes got taken down by... Uh, Ah yes, don't don't be don't be moving. Point taken. Can't do anything. Alphonse is gonna take two pretty big hits, actually. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> Can he get Alphonse killed? Uh, so clearly. All right. Oh, 
I wish I wish Alphonse was a uh, was Soul Link. <laughs> That was just that was just to save the camp. We have a lot of potions. Oh, it decided to give us a potion in return. Don't mind if I do. And level ups. This is the extra AP tier. And this is, the, this is how we get the extra AP quickly. I think Primal is the one that lets you turn into a bear. I do want to turn into a bear. Eh, I, this this tier is not going to not going to provide that. And we can snipe the extra AP just like that. And then over here. Is there a thing we want to just assimilate off of our deck? We never use Edge Divide. It's too awkward to do. Holy. Be careful. So we could get all three of these, but we'd almost be guaranteed a, to take a hit. Now let's do it. Oh, I'm sorry you're on pain meds, uh, Rob. You feeling you feeling okay? We did not get much out of that, but, and we get a bit of a heal here. I guess we'll do the event first because the events always hurt us. Gain 100 favor with the faction, gain 100 favor with the faction. You come across an immaculate sword chamber filled with stone blocks. What? Okay, Noya can, I guess. I didn't know there was faction. Oh. Rob, that is rough. I'm sorry. Okay, good outcome, bad outcome. Now let's do a reward and an otherwise. 25% XP, we don't really care. This looks like a big fight. Yeah, I need to figure out what what I did. I did something. <laughs> that is a uh... That is a beautiful silver lining. Okay, now, of course we get none of our move abilities, so I'm just gonna do that, and then we'll rend here. Gravity surge there. Should have should have uh, keen struck and heroismed before I did that, uh, for sure. We have a lot of fight left, so I think it's it's worth doing that and getting rid of this. Okay, they seem to be powering up the corners. Uh oh, oh, little heal, little heal deal. Okay, interesting. All right, we're gonna explode them all.
Now, this is the one that I want to use. Yeah, so I do that, and then I use this. And I use that. And then I'm one attack short of blowing that guy up, but he's got a bunch of, of uh, vulnerable, so it should be fine. That invalidates his attack, so he's not doing anything. Just going to try and take this rock out. Or at least make some progress on it. Will my other werewolf attack the rock? Nice. All right. Plenty of things I would like to... Oh, yeah. Let's keep Wide Swipe handy. We could Zeal, but I don't think it does us any good. We're going to blind everybody. You'd think it was dead, but that is a that is a lie. But I'm going to swap to here because we can put in some work there. I guess that I guess this one's max level on Wolfang, so that's what that's telling us. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh Don't think I care about any of these. Quick barrier is interesting. Yeah, they're the best of the the best of the worst. Alright, wolves and traps. Wolves and traps. Okay, we got an alpha predator up here who has thorny. Uh calls three extra reinforcements and gains one avert every other round. Currently does not have said avert though. that dual wield came from. Oopsie. She is that bear helmet that we got has made her so much more reliable. It's kind of it's kind of insane. Okay, we do keen strike first because that makes our gravity attack hit harder.
we have like no attacks here. I'm not gonna bother with a. Uh, I'm not going to bother spending an SP, is what I was going to say. Uh, I heard there were dragons in this cave. Lose three fate, gain an item. Gain one fate. Ooh. We were down a fate. I don't even know what you get out of sabotage. Let's uh let's assimilate another card though. Mame is bad. Alright, I think we are uh oh, didn't do this, did I? Yeah, we're full health. We'll probably be okay. We can get it. Well, we won't get it later. The winding steps finally lead you to the top of the airy. The winds are harsh, and it is a struggle just to walk in a straight line. A horde of skulls and treasures sit in the center of the area. It is probably where you'll find the operator's key, but you don't see the blue dragon, but you can feel its ominous presence out there watching from beyond the blizzard's edge. A sudden roar shakes the skies, and you make out the faint silhouette of the dragon swooping through the skies it seems to have caught you seem to have caught its attention fighting by the recesses of the airy could offer protection against the raging blizzard but it's shallow space with little room to maneuver alternatively fighting the open could make it easier to avoid the dragon's attacks but buffeting wings could be a danger fight in the open you steep yourself you steal yourself and step into the open, ready to face the blue dragon head on. All right. Hopefully we don't get a... Uh... Oh my. The blue dragon really hangs out the front here. Uh, I can't tell. Are you standing in something? Chilling ground. Okay. Yeah, we want to move you. I don't like... The distinct absence of dual wields right now. Hitting everyone for seven. So we do want to get like a little bit of protection. The dragon has very little HP? Question mark? That's odd to me. Did I just move into a square that had chill on it? I'm not sure. I did not get a full moon, unfortunately. Uh... Should have used heroism sooner. No reason not to use that. I knew I was going to pick up Zeal. Ugh. Hundred and one from the bear. But we took very little damage. I kind of feel like this is like a baby dragon. We'll find out, I guess. Wow, 
Wow. All our full moons are sitting in the bottom of our deck, for sure. Oh, there's one of them, though. Of course, we get none of our movement. Okay, that that dragon needed to about another zero worth of uh, worth of HP. The final blow sends the beast spiraling to the ground, and the impact is enough to send you flying off your feet. Soon the raging winds settle, and the calm returns to the airy. In death, the blue dragon has been freed from the Vanai's experimentation. Sifting through the horde, you focus your attention on a brass key and an image of the gondola etched on it. This might be just what you're looking for. Okay. All right, we have to we have to go back through. This exit leads to another area. Yeah. Wait, why can't we? Oh, we can't pass through because this thing is in the way. All right, we'll do this really quickly. I said I was going to anyways. Actually, can we snipe the goblin real quick? Get out of there. Now we should be able to. Yeah, not being able to path over these uh, is, is reason enough to do them. I don't think this is going to do damage. Yeah, it just... Oh, interesting. So it did... It did open up more scouting opportunities? get the the moving merchant but I assume we have to go back to base camp before we uh, finish up this act but we should be getting real close we're, we're good on that Okay, actually, I guess it is it is literally time to go to the gondola station. You're over the tower's cliff. In the distance looms the slopes of Mount Aleph, a massive natural formation reaching up into the clouds. The tower connects the twin stations to the mountain. Cool. Yep. All right, here goes nothing. Well, that was interesting. I think that said that it was, uh, it reduced max distance. That's very interesting. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Yeah, after you do a campsite like that, you can barely, uh, barely progress. We'll lose three fate and gain an item. Ooh. All heroes recover 50% of their maximum HP. Oh, so these have to be... Hmm. Reviving a dead hero with 15% of their maximum HP, hero permanently loses 5... Hmm. All heroes recover 50% of their max HP. Are those in my inventory? No. I don't, I don't understand those yet. We're going to have to figure it out at some point. 
The runes here are quite different from the ones you've seen so far. There's a sense of opulence and affluence, the rare privilege of being included as part of the inner circle of the expanse of the Sky Imperium. Yet still, they pale in comparison to the grandeur of the real thing. Looking up, you see the shadow of a massive city island floating above the clouds. You seal your resolve and continue forward. We got an NPC wolf. We got all the dual wields we could ever not want. This is truly horrendous. Uh... Yeah, that was that was terrible. Uh We are we are failing to launch here a bit. Uh this is going to help though, I think. better clean up the mess that I left behind. <laughs> okay, they did not quite do the job. Okay, so I want to... Did, we... did the other amulet have card draw? It did. Wow. It was worth it. Uh, hmm. That was a surprise. Two fire resist, recover six HP on turn start, plus nine maximum HP. Is that better than this? Yeah, probably. But then you, you have a garbage amulet. Let's give you that one. All right. We're at the top. You come across an unstable rift. You see dozens of realities reflected within crackling, within it, crackling with an intense energy that bump into each other. In the center, a glowing artifact hovers serenely. You feel a strong sense of your worthiness being justified as you approach it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is—we shouldn't have spent the renown, but gain twenty-five to fifty renown. That would give us back what we just got. Reroll legendary one tier higher. Okay, I don't I don't understand how these are working still, but you clamber up the final set of snow slick steps to the summit. A familiar droll greets you. Uh, over the howling wind. Once again, you defy my expectations. What is it that drives you? Asher rattles as she eases herself off a raised stone platform, a transportation circle of some kind. Truly, you are a thorn in my side. Regretfully, I must cut this reunion short. I do, however, have the perfect company for you. At her behest, a strange black ooze begins sleeping, seeping out from the ground, coalescing into a blob that grows rapidly in size. It appears very much like the shape-shifting ooze you first encountered in Okoro. This time, however, it morphs into your very likeness, complete with a maniacal grin. The teleporter pulses as Asso's form is spirited upwards to Sky Imperium, leaving you with the doppelganger you must defeat at all costs to catch up with Asva.